Want to build circuits without soldering? A breadboard lets you snap in LEDs, and resistors like a puzzle, and Ohm's Law keeps them glowing just right. Breadboards are reusable plastic boards with rows of holes. Under the surface, tiny metal clips connect certain rows, so when you plug in components, they join together without wires or solder. It's perfect for quickly testing simple circuits like the one we're building today. Here's our setup. A 9-volt battery, a 1-kilohm resistor, and a red LED light on a breadboard. In in the simplest version, the battery connects to the resistor, then to the LED, and back to the battery's negative terminal. That's a closed circuit, current flows, and the LED lights. On the schematic, you'll see the battery symbol, the resistor labeled R1, 1 kilo ohm, and the LED marked D1, red. Ohm's law, voltage equals current times resistance, tells us exactly how much current flows. With 9 volts from the battery, minus about 2 volts across the LED, which leaves 7 volts across the resistor. 7 volts divided by 1000 ohms gives 0.007 amps, or 7 milliamps, safe for the LED. Now, let's look at the version with the push button. In the schematic, it's labeled S1. When you're not pressing the button, the circuit is open. No current flows, LED stays off. Press and hold the button, and the circuit closes. Current flows, LED lights. Release it, and it opens again. That opening and closing action isn't shown in motion on the schematic, but that's exactly what's happening in real life. Breadboards make it easy to experiment with both permanent on and button controlled circuits, and Ohm's law makes sure they work without damaging components. Next time, we'll explore a concept that explains why heat spreads, why ice melts, and why the universe is always moving toward disorder. You won't want to miss it. Hit subscribe, and let's dive in.